Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today we're looking at these two keychain items. This is the Civivi Polymorph Carabiner, and then we have the Keybit over here. Now let me start off by saying, I have never worked with these guys before. So I think it's Civivi, not Civivi. But anyhow, in my research it's Civivi, so we'll just go with that. Um, I put a video together, it was 25 keychain items, and so they reached out to me and said, hey, maybe you wanna check out ours which we're doing. They look pretty slick. The other thing I'll tell you is that they are sending me a bunch of blades to feature for Halloween. So stay tuned for that video. That should be a, a fun one to put together. So we'll start off and do this one by one. We're going to look at the polymorph first. So that's the box. Nothing too fancy to say about it. We'll show you the item in a second, but just some people like to see the box. So that's that. So you do get a couple items with the tool. You get the cleaning cloth there. Got some uh, instructions. Get a slick little uh, knife sticker. And you get that sticker as well. You do get two extra blades, which you can see right here. And then you get the actual carabiner. All right, so here's a look at the polymorph. So what you have here is basically a bunch of different tools. You have your uh, bottle opener here. I just watched a video on this from somebody else. And that guy was like, hey, this is an indispensable tool, a bottle opener. I don't drink items that come in a bottle very often. That's just me. So it's it's not very useful for me, but for a lot of people it is. You can use it as a little bit of a pry tool, I would say, as well. Then you've got your carabiner, and you can see that opens up. If you really push it, it'll go all the way back to the uh, to the metal. But when you open it up, kind of just ge generically to open maybe half, three quarters of the way. So obviously you can like hook that on a, a belt loop. You can hook it to a piece of gear if you want to do that. A lot of times for these types of tools, they'll throw in a little cutout like that, which you can use as a wrench. You do have a little loop there. You can put a carabiner on that. Then you can see here, you basically have a bunch of bits. So you've got flatheads, you got star bits, you got um, what you can use for a, a Phillips. It doesn't look exactly like a Phillips, but it'll definitely function that way. So a bunch of different ones you can basically spin around. Now, a key about this is, look on the back side. It's not like you're going to have a lot of extension here, right? So you basically need direct access to the item so you can you can crank it down. But slick little uh, you know little rotating system here to have your different drivers. And then the last thing is that you have your blade. So when you press down on this and push up, the blade is gonna come out. It's basically a razor blade. And like I mentioned before, you do get a couple extra. So you can bring this down. Now, when this is all the way down, if you crank this, twist it, now the blade won't accidentally pop out, which is great, right? You don't wanna have this just like bouncing around a piece of gear and the blade slowly sliding out. So once it's cracked down, you can't open it. So basically loosen it up, press it down, and then you can uh, you can take it out. I think this is great because you know you throw this into a throw it on a, a belt loop like I said, and now you've got your basic cutting tool. It's not going to function like a knife, but simple little item so you can have a um, a cutting tool on you and just sitting there in your belt loop. It's very small and lightweight. Now speaking of weight, let's see how much it weighs. This is in ounces, so 0.960 ounces, so not even an ounce. So a couple other details worth noting, your end-to-end -end length, 2.8 inches. Your thickness is 0.16 inches. It does come in a couple different colors. You have a gray titanium, a blue, which is this titanium, and then you also have a bronze titanium as well. The price point for this item, not super cheap. It's gonna run you about 80 bucks over at Blade HQ. I do have a link down to the uh, Blade HQ website. And then also you can, um, you can head over to Amazon or, you know, dig around other places on the internet. But Blade HQ usually has great prices. So if you're going to pick it up, that's a good place to uh, a good place to get it. This is the other item. This is the CVV Keybit Torx screwdriver. It comes with a T6 and a T8 driver. Obviously, it goes onto your keychain. Uh, similarly, similarly, excuse me, this is going to come in a couple of different colors as well. So like the other one, we have a gray and a bronze, and then this is the blue titanium. Uh, your closed length, 1.69 inches. It is 0.45 inches thick, uh, 0.6 ounces for your weight. Let me open this up and show you the actual driver now. So basically just gonna crank this back. It does come with a bunch of extra O-rings, probably like five extra O-rings. So not, you know, just, yeah, you got extra O-rings, bottom line. So this is the driver it's coming with, and then you can pop this out, and spin it around this way. It is magnetic, so it kind of clicks in there. There's your other driver, and then cap this up when you're done. And close it up like that. Price point for this driver is gonna be about 36 bucks. You can pick it up over Blade HQ again. Now, functionally, this is way more functional for me than this. Um, you can, if you had a bunch of other drivers, you could swap the, these ones out and put another one in. Um, at some point, you know, the keychain size, that's helpful. But um, 
I mean, it's, I think this is slick looking, but it's, if I'm going to get a bunch of drivers, I'm going to bring up more than these or bring a bunch of them and you can get sets for a little bit less money. Bottom line, you know, you're, you're limited to just, uh, two drivers there. And that to me is just not enough. So the Beaner, I think, is way more functional. I do like that you have all these different drivers, and you have the blade and the carabiner. I just think that's a lot more uh, probably helpful overall as a tool. Um, you know, this is the type of thing where you're like, hey, if I have this one driver I'm always fixing things with, you know, you can carry that and then pop it in there. But um, you're paying 35 bucks when you can probably get something for a bit less. So I think this guy is still quite expensive, but this is kind of like the cool factor, I think, for this guy. And having a blade, I think, is just a straight-up win. So when you have a knife that you can use to cut stuff, you know, boxes, some basic stuff, that's nice to have. And the fact that you can just, like, clip it onto a uh, bag is great. I think the thing that's cool about this, too, is that you can throw that onto a bag, and now you've always got a blade with you. Be careful that you don't, you know, have that on a bag when you're trying to get through airport security because it is a razor blade, so you want to be aware of that. And you do have um, two extra blades that come with it, so that's a win. So about 80 bucks, about 36 bucks. Definitely higher end EDC items, definitely for, you know, kind of the person who's into the EDC world. Uh, functionally, this one's going to win for me. This one, it's fine, but I'm going to stick with that if I have to uh, carry one of these too. So let me hear your thoughts on these. What do you like? What would you change? Overall thoughts, maybe other um, similar items that you've used in the past. And let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.